I'm Ryan, and I work in support here at New Relic. Today we'll be walking through setting up single sign-on with your New Relic account through Okta. So right now we're in the single sign-on page in New Relic, but let's just jump straight into Okta. And we'll add a new application, and we'll search for New Relic from Okta's bank of applications. So we'll add the first one that shows up. I'm going to give this a name, and this is what's going to show up in the application dashboard uh, in your Okta account for your users. Over in the sign on tab, we'll just jump into the setup instructions. This is going to make it very easy to get set up. And you'll see that we need to go to New Relic, we need to go to Account Settings, and then we need to go to the single sign on page. And you'll see from the other window I have open that we're already there. So the first thing we need to do is get the assertion consumer URL. We grab that from the New Relic page. You can see that here. And we're going to jump into the sign on settings, edit those and we can copy that into the login URL further down the page. We'll save that and jump back to the setup instructions. The next link that we see is going to bring us to the Okta certificate that we can download. From the New Relic page then we'll need to upload that. Next we see the remote login URL. We configure this in New Relic. You'll see that here in the screenshot and we'll see that here in the New Relic UI. Now when you log into New Relic for the first time, uh, we're going to redirect you to your Okta page and so that login URL is just telling New Relic where to send you when you do try to log in. Next in the instructions you'll see that it's prompting you to add that login URL but we've already done that before so we're free to go ahead and test SAML. But there's a problem. We've set up this Okta integration but we haven't added any users to it so nobody's going to be able to log in just yet. So let's assign some new users. I'll assign my video test account and this is a fake email address that I've just created. We'll save that and we'll be able to test then. Now testing just goes through the whole SAML login workflow just to make sure that it's fully functional and uh, you're not going to have any problems when you do log in. Uh, this just lets you test it before enabling it for all users in your account. We've configured tested. It's currently disabled but it's configured and tested so we know that it works. We can hit enable and as you can see, configured, tested, currently enabled, we're good to go 